Yeah, it's one hot after hours club. It's about the only one around here, too, so you get all the business. Looks like there's plenty of it, too. Oh, I can hardly keep track of it myself. That's why I need an extra pair of hands. Ready and willing. Oh, <laughs> uh, you think you can handle the hours? Well, that, uh, depends. I mean, uh, if you can make it worth my while. I'll pay you twice what you're making in that fancy club you're working in right now. And that's to start. Is, is that double? To start? What do you say? Well, that's up to me to hear that, you know, that, that's why I brought her along. I uh, just, uh, you know, want her to check things out and everything. This is where I want to be, honey, when I don't come home from work after my shift at the club. Joe, no. no, you're gonna kill yourself working these two shifts. Not in a million years, son. Cause I'm gonna be doing it for my family. Working for my family. Hey, don't you know I do anything? I do anything to, to get you back and the little baby. Well, what'd you think, honey? Huh? Well, I'll let you two uh, lovebirds talk it over. All right? Yes. Yeah. I swear, he's such a gentleman, <laughs> Bernie. Well, what do you think, honey? You think I should take the job or not, huh? Well, I, I guess if I leave Maggie's, we're gonna need money for the rent and... and... You mean that, honey? You'll do it? Honest? Yeah. Honey! Mina, you know you're gonna come back to me? Oh, honey, that's great! I swear! Just calm I, down. <laughs> I swear! Calm down. I can't help it, honey! I'm so excited, I don't know what to do first! I said, Bernie, come on over here, man! Give us a round of drinks here! Give her a round of drinks, too. I tell you, I'm so happy. This is the happiest day of my life. All right. <laughs> I swear. Come on, stand up. <laughs> Get over. Don't figure on Max for breakfast. He was looking mighty sour when he came dragging in here last night. He didn't say why, but I got my suspicions. Okay. Hello. Morning. How are you, huh? Hey, Jenny, this is Ryan. I know, I'm fine. Well, good. Uh, I was just calling to make sure that Barrett's still going to meet me at Kevin Cook's office. Uh, did he say? Well, I told you he would. Yes, he'll be there right after breakfast. Well, I had the feeling you didn't want him to. I don't. It's Barrett. He says he has to remember those things. Don't ask me why. Besides, he feels grateful to you. Look, is he coming alone? I mean, uh, maybe I could drive him down in the car. No, he asked Okay, that's all I wanted to know. That's... Look, we can talk, all right? Yes, maybe the three of us can have lunch. No. I mean, you and me. About us, what we're going to do. I have something on the stove. I've really got to go, so I'll see you later. Come on, don't hang right. on. Jenny. I love you. Ryan? It's not. It's so. It's not. It's so. Says who? Says me. Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah. Grandma, you the mom the prettiest lady in Texas. Sounds like somebody's bucking for extra flapjacks this morning. Isn't she? Absolutely. Now that I'm out of the running. See? Don't you believe it. Not unless you throw in the rest of the continent, the two oceans, and the seven seas. Oh, you too. Good morning. Good morning. Hello, Sam. Oh, Vicky. No, no, don't stop working. Oh, that's the slave driver we all know and love. Listen, I uh, wondered, are you shorthanded in your division or something? Sport? Yeah. No. You could hire me a masseuse, but otherwise... <laughs> well, I didn't think so. That's why I was surprised to see Justin Marshall covering the U of H game last night with you and Lowe. Well, he had a night off, and he thought he'd tag along. Off the clock, of course. Oh. Since when is Justin a company man? Maybe he likes basketball. And maybe you're the company in question? <laughs> that too. Well, <laughs> this is a momentous occasion, the passing of an era. What happened to your perennial feud? Well, it ran out of steam. We spent some time together on New Year's Eve. And discovered, much to our mutual horror, that we can actually stand each other. Oh, that's a shocker, all right. 
But I'm glad. I think. Still, will you allow a doting aunt two caveats? Uh, okay. He's brash and footloose with mm -hmm. a wild streak the size of the Panama Canal. And number two? Uh, he's spoiled rotten. Grew up thinking the world was a department store and he and his sisters had unlimited credit. But his father's gone now, and so is the money. And Vicky, he's changing. He has to. Now he's doing very well on the news desk with Elliot. Oh, I almost forgot. Elliot said he's sorry, but he has to leave Houston. He just up and walked out, just like that. I just saw him in the newsroom. Today? Yes. <sighs> That's odd. Something must have happened to change his mind. What's this about Barrett going to the doctor? Oh, it's all about his memory. Well, you'll be seeing Ryan, too, won't you? <sighs> yeah. It's really for Ryan. He... He, uh... Wants Barrett to go through this. Why, you think he, he knows something about it? Well, I don't know. It's, it's something to do with the prison camp and Elliot Carrington. I don't... It, it doesn't matter what we think. No, I guess it does. Yes, it does. It seems as if every time I talk to Barrett or touch him or anything, I, everybody looks at me like I'm a liar. Oh, Ginny. Now, you know that's not so. Kate, I don't know how I can tell him now. Especially now that he and Barrett will be working together. I just... I can't tell him now, don't you see? Well, I did at the beginning. But it's been two weeks, Ginny. Barrett's getting stronger every day. But you, I'm worried about. Oh, Ginny. Do you think telling him would be any worse than the not telling? I will tell him. I swear I will. As soon as Ryan gets what he wants and, and leaves us all alone. No, Jimmy. I doubt that that'll happen. Because what Ryan wants is you. All right, all right. I'll get this stuff out of the car. Thank you. Well, I guess Barrett and I should get going, too. Jimmy, I don't mean to preach. Oh, Steve forgot his lunch. Well, I suppose I do, though. Kate, it's okay. Anything you say, I've already said to myself, believe me. Well, I'll come out on the porch and see y'all off. 